If you are ready to diversify the products and categories in which you're selling on Amazon, then keep watching because I'm going to show you four easy ways so that you can get ungated today. Hi, I'm Cassandra Barney with Profit Guru. I'm a teacher, mother of three, and Amazon FBA seller. Here at Profit Guru, we're dedicated to trying strategies out and continually improving our own software to help other Amazon sellers just like you. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Before we get to how you can get ungated in categories, first I have a really exciting giveaway to announce. Now, if you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button because we're going to be giving away each month three free annual subscriptions to Profit Guru. Now, if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. We genuinely appreciate it and it keeps our channel going. But we're not gonna leave you out on this giveaway. If you're already a subscriber, you can still win one of these annual subscriptions. All you need to do is interact in the comment sections of our videos. So again, make sure you take one second right now and hit that subscribe button or pop a comment below because you can be one of the three that we choose each month to get an annual subscription to Profit Guru. Now, let's get to the on-gating. At the very end of this video, I'm going to give you extra tips so that you can make sure your application goes through with ease and does not get rejected. So make sure you hang around with us until the very end. Let's talk about first what it actually means to be gated on Amazon. So in August of 2016, Amazon started this process of gating you in certain products, categories, subcategories, and brands. And really what this is, is their way to ensure quality. They wanna make sure that counterfeit items are not coming in and being sold on Amazon. So really what they're doing is taking the risk out for the buyers. So if you think of what a gate does, it provides a barrier. So it's creating restrictions for you as a seller. You're gonna notice when you first open up your account that you'll have some categories that are available and you're ungated in so you can sell them. And other categories are going to be gated. So that restriction will be up and it's going to create one more barrier for you. You're gonna to have to get through before you can sell in those categories. Now, a lot of sellers might see this as a negative, but I am a glass half full type of person. And really, if you're a seller that plans on being in Amazon and selling for the long run, then this is actually to your advantage because a lot of sellers are not going to go and do these extra steps to get on gated in these certain categories, brands, and products. So if you are willing to go the extra step, that means that you're going to have so many more items that are at your disposal to sell and there's gonna be less competition on these listings. So really, it's a positive thing. Now I know a lot of new sellers get frustrated because as a new seller, there are going to be a lot of gated items for you. But that brings us to our first way of getting ungated and that is called auto ungated. So when you go to first list an item, you're going to know if it's restricted for you because it's going to come up and say request for approval. Now you're always going to want to request for approval. Go in, hit the button and see. Sometimes you might get auto ungated. And what that means is they're not going to require any more information from you. All you'll do is hit the button and if you're auto ungated, it's going to say congratulations. Now this happens with a lot of brands that aren't as big named brands. And it also happens as you prove yourself as a seller to Amazon. So if you have really good seller metrics, if you're not having items being returned, um, and if maybe you're fulfilled by merchant, make sure that you're not having any late shipments because all of these things can hurt your account. As you're proving yourself and you're selling things and you're proving that, yeah, I'm a respectable seller, I'm selling good items, no returns are coming in, my stuff is going out when it should be, you're gonna have a lot of things that just auto on gate for you. So that's the first tip, always go and hit that request for approval because sometimes it'll just say, congratulations, you've been approved for this brand or this category or this subcategory. Now, if you're not auto on gated, you'll know so because instead of saying congratulations, you've been approved, it's going to instead pop up an application. And this is what brings us to our second way of getting on gated and that is to purchase some products. So first decide where you wanna get on gated. So if you're looking for a specific category to get ungated in, maybe grocery and gourmet foods, you're going to find an item that falls in that category and then you need to find a wholesaler to purchase those items from. It has to be a wholesaler for this step. It can't be like Walmart or Target. It has to be a respectable wholesaler that's going to provide you with an invoice. There are a lot of wholesalers out there that are willing to work with resellers and like working with Amazon people. Some of these, for example, are the Frontier Co-op Wholesale and Katy Texas Wholesale. So you would choose an item that they sell, 
make sure that it falls in the category that you're trying to get ungated for. So for example, Katie Texas Wholesale sells a lot of Goya products. So you could find some Goya noodles that are in the grocery section of Amazon in the category and then find those same noodles on Katie Texas Wholesale. The secret number here is 10. On the application, they're going to wanna see 10 units in order to ungate you. So all you're going to do is purchase those 10 units minimum, get those items, take clear pictures of them, all angles, all 10 of them together, front and back, to show that yes, you have these products. And you're also going to have to upload the invoice that comes along with it. Now something to keep in mind is that that invoice has to match your credentials that you have on with Amazon. So the invoice has to be sent to your name directly and your address that you have on file. Those things Amazon will definitely be looking for and if they don't match, they're not going to approve it. Another great way that you can find suppliers is by using Profit Guru. They have a product section where you can look up products and a section where you can look up distributors. So you can easily find wholesalers thousands of them on there who are willing to work with Amazon sellers. Now something to keep in mind, once you are approved to sell into a category, that doesn't mean that you can sell everything under that umbrella. There will still be restrictions for you and certain things that are still gated. So just because that category becomes available, underneath it, there's going to be subcategories and brands that will require you to do the process again. So for example, in health and beauty, if you're on gated in that category, you can't sell Burt's Bees. That brand will still be gated. So you would have to do the same steps. Find a wholesaler, purchase 10 units of something that is in the Burt's Bees subcategory, and do the same thing. Submit the application with the invoice. Now something that's really cool is that you can use the same invoice to get ungated in several different categories, subcategories, or brands they can all be on one invoice. So a tip would be to find a wholesaler that has a big diversity of products. And from that wholesaler, you can buy an item that fits into different categories. So you might find some noodles that fall into the grocery and gourmet foods. You also might be able to get Burt's Bees from them, which will ungate you in that brand too. And then you would just submit that same invoice for each application. Now, once you submit the application, it's hard to say how long it's going to take to see if you get it approved or not. It could take as little as a few hours or it could take upwards of a few weeks. It really depends on what time of year it is. If it's a busy time for Amazon, it's probably going to take longer to get approved. Now, the third way that you can get on gated is by opening up a business account with Amazon. Now, this is different from your regular seller's account or the account that you're making regular purchases on. This is completely different. It is a business account that you have to open. Once you have a business account established with Amazon, you can go into that account and make purchases. When you do, Amazon will give you an invoice for those purchases and you can use that to then get on gated. So for example, if you wanted to get on gated in toys, and in the brand Barbies at the same time, you could create that business account and then go on to Amazon, purchase 10 Barbies from them. They're going to give you an invoice for it and then you would take a picture of those Barbies and the invoice to send in with your application to get ungated. The fourth way you can go about getting ungated is by paying an ungating service to do this for you. Now be careful with this one. This is probably the method that I would least recommend, but if you do decide to go this route and you wanna pay a service to ungate for you, make sure you do your research first. Make sure that this place has a lot of reviews and that they're a respectable place that people are saying, yes, when I paid them, it was a fair fee and I was able to get ungated. So do your homework first before you pay somebody. Now let's talk about some tips so that you can make sure your application gets approved fast and easy. The first thing is the invoice. Now, like I said earlier, you're going to wanna make sure that it's your name on it and the address that you have on file. The next thing is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you save that invoice as a PDF that is uneditable. So make sure that the version cannot be edited. The other thing is you wanna make sure that it's a finalized invoice so that it shows on it that the goods are paid for. The next tip, when you're submitting your application, down at the bottom, there's going to be a spot for optional comments. Now in this spot, it's a really good idea to put your distributor's name and their contact information. Also type something that sounds like this. I purchased blank from blank who is an authorized distributor. I have included their contact information. Please feel free to verify this. 
The next tip is don't get upset if your application isn't automatically approved. They can reject the application for a number of reasons. And if they tell you why they rejected it, it might just be a small change that you need to make. If they didn't tell you why they rejected it, you're just gonna go back in and you're going to resubmit the application again. Sometimes it takes resubmitting it a few times before it actually gets approved. And one reason could be when you first submit it, it might have gone to a bot. So the bot might have just not recognized something and then rejected it. So you're just gonna submit the application through again and hope that a real person gets it this time who can look through it closely. So if it gets rejected, keep submitting. If you follow these four steps, you are sure to get ungated in any category, subcategory, brand, or product. If this works for you, make sure that you let us know in the comments. And don't forget about our free giveaway. Each month, three annual subscriptions to Profit Guru. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel and interact in the comments. I hope you win. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.